Andy. I had taken a break and I met my wonderful husband, David, um, and um, he had encouraged me to write down my story. And the first story that I could write was what I thought had just happened to me in retrospect. And um, uh, what's very much a part of this is um, this wonderful hat that I had that I had gotten in the food store. And um, if you did read my book, and it's funny because I always say read the book, but there is actually a book now, so that joke is not so funny. <laughs> um, but um, I left home with a very important book that influenced my life and my work by Yoko Ono. It was a book called Grapefruit. And actually, it says on the back, burn this book. I never burned that book. I don't believe in burning books, I don't know. But I know it's a whole Buddhist thing, you burn it, you, you know, I understand that. But um, I passed it on to another woman that I thought it would inspire. And um, one time, I, you know, I had gone off to be a painter, an artist, and um, yeah. I'm an artist going to try that, but um, I, I went to Vermont where I was absolutely freezing, and, um, but it was beautiful, and the sky was always full. And I think, you know, I, I lived right across um, from the Adirondacks and on Lake Champlain, and the sky at night was stunning, and I was always sad I had no one to share it with. So in the spirit of what that book said to me, I took my hat, which I had gotten from a free store. In those days, there were free stores where if you didn't have calls, you could actually get some nice calls. Um, and I, um, I raised it up to the sky to fill it. And then if I ever met somebody, I let them wear my hat so they could see if they closed their eyes to it, you know, because the sky would be in it. And I told this to a teacher once we were driving to Miami doing the movie that I actually met my husband in. And um, she, she said I should write it. It's a great title for a song, and it is. And so it became this song. <laughs>